Well, Donald Trump's did it again. He keeps doing stupid stuff and he wants to run for president. What did he do this time? He had a bad week in court. The last week, two weeks have been damn awful for him. But he made a statement. Russia invaded the Ukraine, a sovereign nation. And guess what? Donald Trump praises Putin. He's a genius. He's a smart man. Wow. And this guy wants to be president again? Really? Praising a dictator who's invaded another country that are, are killing people and his own soldiers for an ego trip? Really? This guy wants to be president. <clears throat> it's really sane. I, I don't know what's going on here. This is a continual problem with Trump. He's on the wrong side of the tracks. So now all the GOP are like scattering around. Oh my God, what the hell is he saying? This guy's a kook. Get away from him. Now they don't want to get away from him. Yeah, you want to get away from Trump? He's wacko. He has really become a wacko. I don't understand why he would <clears throat> think something like that. When the rest of the world is out against Russia and Putin, here is the former president of the United States. Four years he was in office praising a dictator. It's obscene. It's treasonous. How can anybody vote for this guy ever again? I don't, I don't get it. This is strike three, folks. This is strike three. First strike was the election fraud. We all know it was all BS. But he continues to say the reason that he invaded uh, Ukraine was because of Trump losing the election, because of election fraud. He said that the other day on Fox News. Strike two, January 6th. He praised the people and said he would let them all out of jail if he became president. Strike three, praising Vladimir Putin, saving his genes. That's strike three. That's three strikes. Time to get out of here. Time to get rid of this guy. Time for the Republicans to get some balls and say, that's it. Trump is gone. We don't want anything to do with him. But you got all these idiots in, you know, in the house, Steve Scalise, and you got these people on Fox News, Maria Baltaramo, and, you know, all these other people. Oh, he's great. He's a great man. We love to talk to with him. What the heck? Why, why, why would you want to do anything with Trump? Trump's going to be indicted any day. His family, his sons are, and son and daughter, Ivanka, are up, uh, probably being in, indicted by the end of the year. Or probably before the midterm election, I used to say. But it's insane. I never saw anything like it. I never saw a leader of a nation praise an invasion for no reason. There's no reason for Russia to be invading the Ukraine. God bless the Ukrainian people. They are fighting so hard. They were fought so hard against the Nazis back in back in forty four. <clears throat> Nazis tried to invade 700,000 soldiers for the battle for Kiev, and they held them out for a month. 700,000. Well, right now, Russia doesn't have 700,000 soldiers. They're having a hard time because they, these people are, are, are great people. And this idiot, Trump, praises the guy pulling the trigger. This is the same guy who's threatening the world with nuclear weapons. I don't get it. I don't get it. How anybody can vote for Trump today after his comments of the last week, of the last year? How could anyone vote for him for president? Yeah, Biden is not the greatest. I agree. I can't stand Biden. I didn't vote for Biden. I voted for Trump, but I would never vote for Trump again. I would never vote for Biden. Okay? Biden's done a lousy job. He's a weak old man. That's true. But to make comments like Trump did, it's, it's, it's a, it's, it's treason. It's treason. That should just, right there, that, that nobody should have anything to do with him. All the fundraisers are running away from Trump. They want nothing to do with this guy. Anyway, I'll see you soon. Be safe.